Okay, let's talk about the high set exam and specifically the math section. So um, just as a, um, a matter of fact, um, the high set, the task, the GED, the number one area where people struggle with is math. And that's probably shouldn't come um, as too much a surprise for most people. I mean, you know, math is one of those things you have to really go back and you kind of have to build your skills up. But, uh, you know, that takes time. You know, obviously you're going to be tested at the high school level and there's a considerable amount of algebra and geometry. So if you have the time to study for the high set, you should do so, um, you know, kind of appropriately. You need to get yourself into like a good study uh, um, routine, okay? Preferably taking some sort of course, either take an actual uh, course locally, you know, with some sort of adult education program, or you can even uh, take my math course. Um, I'll leave the link in the description of uh, this video of this video below um, if you're interested in my high set math course. However, this particular video um, is really about how to pass it fast. Now, why would you need to pass it fast? Well, obviously, everybody wants to pass the exam fast. You don't want to spend any much uh, any more time than you have to necessarily pass. But here's the problem. Um, some people think that they can just study for a week or two and then take the, t take the test, and then what ends up happening? Well, unfortunately, many of these uh, people fail okay and then they get frustrated and they go back and they prepare for a couple weeks or maybe a month and they go back and they struggle and they struggle you know that that kind of routine and it might take them several times to pass that's not the smart approach what's better if you have the time is to you know as i was saying to actually learn the material pr take as many uh, practice exams as you can and then actually go ahead and uh, take the the high set so we're talking about here how to pass it fast. Now, let me get to this point. Why do you need to pass it fast? Sometimes you're not given a choice. And what I mean by that is you might be um, told by your work, for example, and I'm seeing this pretty uh, frequently that, hey, you need to have your high school equivalency done and you need to have it done within a week or two. <laughs> I mean, I'm seeing uh, a lot of this occur. And just so you know, if you don't follow me on YouTube already, uh, hopefully you might uh, consider following my channel. I do a lot with um, uh, the high set, the GED, the task, and other test exams. My background is a math teacher, but I just kind of got into adult education uh, years ago. So I, I really do um, connect with a lot of uh, students that are, are taking these exams or passed it and and they kind of pass on their experiences to me. So I definitely know that you could be in a situation where you need to uh, try to get your high set or your high school equivalency taken care of, you know, in a shorter period of time that you will like. I mean, like the pressure is on, right? Um, or something comes up and you're trying to apply for a school and the next window is maybe um, six months, a year out, those type of things. So again, um, you want to try to avoid those scenarios, but um, if you can't, I'm going to give you four tips here that can really um, help uh, increase the odds of you pass, passing if you only have a short period of time uh, to study. So let's get into our first one, and that is currently, how much math do you know? Okay, so you have to kind of take an inventory um, of what you know. Now, how would you do that? Well, uh, if, if you're using a program like my high set uh, course, um, you can just kind of quickly scan through um, the course curriculum and, and say, okay, here is what I think I know, and this is where I'm totally lost, right? So you might want to just make yourself some sort of kind of itemized list. Now, why are, are we doing that? Well, if you already have some ability in some areas, you don't have the time to go back and relearn them. OK, because uh, remember, we're, we're kind of doing a crash course on, you know, passing the exam. This is truly not the way to learn math. OK, so this is not when well, I'm talking about two different things here. I'm just uh, the purpose of, of uh, my tips is just to try to get get you to have enough ability to have enough points to pass the high set. Not but this is not um, in any way. Uh, equivalent to you really learning math or mastering what you need to know. And there's a, an important distinction because if you're going to continue on with your education in college or whatnot, uh, you know, you, you're not going to be learning the uh, math uh, the, in, the, in the same manner. Okay. So how much math do you currently know? Well, try to go through um, 
if you have a book or if you're taking a course like my course, go through and say, okay, yeah, I think I know this, I think I know that, and this and this. So that would um, leave you with the things that you don't know, okay? So there's going to be a whole bunch because remember, in a high set, I come in a considerable amount of algebra and geometry, but you want to get some sort of idea of what you think you know already. Okay, let's get to the second thing here. Now, the second thing is don't try to learn everything. So what do I mean by that? Well, you just simply don't have enough uh, time, okay? So if we're talking, let's just use an example of one week because I've seen this before of people being given like one week to, to get you know uh, this exam taken care of. So what you want to do um, is to try to at least identify, I would say at a minimum, like 50% of the exam topics, maybe more than that, okay? But at least a minimum 50%, but not 100%, and kind of identify those things that you think that you have the best chances of understanding and learning, okay? Now, math is cumulative. So if you're going to try to understand this topic and don't understand these particular topics and this topic over here, and you're not going to get, be able to really get this. So what I would suggest is try to start from the more basic topics, try to master all these guys, and then try to learn as much of the advanced material as possible. Okay, but don't try to say, well, I'm going to cover 100% of everything in one week. It's not a smart approach. Just try to cover at least, say, 50%, two-thirds of that. If you can get some sort of aptitude going, then I think you're going to really increase your odds of, um, of passing, okay? Um, so, again, some people are able to pull off passing a high set in a week or so, and I think partly uh, because they already have some pretty decent math skills, okay, where if you're totally lost, you know, it, it may... You know, if you still need to take the high set, you still have to take it, right? So you go in there and do the best you can. But, um, you know, I wouldn't say that this is a, a sure thing. Okay, just, just because you're going to follow my tips, just for anybody, you know, it's still a risk, right? You still may not pass the exam. And if that's not the case, then you're just going to have to go back and, and you know, um, and, uh, um, you know, get back to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at our third thing here. Now, our third thing is to find a math teacher. So what do I mean by that? Well, you're not if, if you're able to kind of enroll in the class, that would be great. But even then, you're not going to find a one-week class on, on the high set. So um, what I mean by finding a math teacher is try to learn. Don't, don't be on your own. Try to learn via, like, let's say, a video program, like something like mine, from a math teacher so it can kind of accelerate your understanding. If you just have a study material like a book, and you're just kind of trying to read and understand, you're definitely going to take a lot longer to learn the material. So try to find a math teacher, a math teacher, preferably probably a video-based program. Um, so again, I have that uh, type of course. You can check that out and link. But if you, uh, there's a lot of other free resources out there. YouTube is great. Just find something where you have a math teacher explaining these concepts to you. Okay. And the last thing is you need to study 24-7. <laughs> and I'm pretty serious about that, right? So if you have a week and you're trying to pass the high set, that's a pretty significant um, you know, event or, or milestone in your life. You need to just try to push away everything possibly you can. I mean, if you can call in sick at work, if you can do whatever, I mean, just really clear your calendar, okay? And be learning and doing practice prompts. Because if you have a compressed amount of time, you really, you know, have to put yourself in a state of immersion. Like doing one hour a day is not even nearly going to be enough, okay? You're going to have to find, you know, maybe like four hours minimum per day if you have like a week um, to pass. So, but, you know, if you do these things, um, I think you give yourself better than even odds, better than 50% chance of actually passing, okay? Having a minimum score or getting, you know, having enough uh, uh, familiarization with the topics to actually uh, make it through. So if you find yourself in a jam and you do have to pass the high set, you know, or take it uh, quickly, Try these tactics. I think they'll really help you out. Um, again, the smart thing to do is if you're watching this video and you don't have a deadline, 
don't wait. You start learning, you know, uh, get in and take care of this and give yourself time because I think it's occurring more and more that people are getting surprised either in their current job or something changes in their life. Now they need their high school equivalency. Okay. And you don't want to get caught in a pressured situation. But anyways, let me go ahead and wrap this video up. I do a lot of these type of things on uh, adult education, GED, high set task. Um, so if you're interested in my videos, please consider uh, subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell button when you do. And if you enjoy the video and you got something out of it, you know, uh, giving it a thumbs up would be appreciated. And please comment. Um, I do try to read as many comments uh, on my videos. I get a lot of comments, so it's tough for me to read every single one of them. But it does. Um, I do appreciate them, and it gives me ideas on, uh, you know, uh, future videos. So, anyways, I do appreciate your time, and I hope this video helped you out. And have a great day.